Squashed in the Middle by Elizabeth Winthrop, illustrated by Pat Cummings. Daisy was squashed right in the middle of her noisy family. She had one older sister and one younger brother. They talked to Daisy, they talked about Daisy, and they talked right over Daisy's head. But when Daisy talked, nobody ever listened. Daisy's very shy, her mother told the butcher. Daisy uses the pink and green toothbrush, her sister told the babysitter. Daisy doesn't like apple pie, her father told the waitress. I'll eat hers, her brother said. I like blueberries, Daisy said, but nobody listened to her. Rosa was Daisy's new friend. She lived next door. Daisy, will you sleep over at my house, Rosa asked one afternoon. Daisy has never slept over at someone's house before, said her mother. I slept at Grandma's, said Daisy, but her mother did not hear her. She won't go anywhere without her stuffed up, said her brother. She'll come home in the middle of the night, said her sister in her big know-it-all voice. No, I won't, said Daisy, but nobody heard her. Maybe they're right, Daisy thought. Daisy ran to her room and hid in the closet. A little later, Rosa knocked on the door and whispered, Daisy, open up. Is anyone else there? Daisy asked. No, said Rosa, just me. Daisy opened the door. I want to spend the night at your house, she said. I'll help you get ready, said Rosa. They packed Daisy's nightgown and her pink and green toothbrush and her stuffed duck. I'm going to spend the night at Rosa's house, Daisy told her family, but nobody heard her. Her father was chopping carrots. Her sister was chasing her brother around the kitchen table. Her mother was talking on the phone. So Daisy and Rosa left, but nobody noticed. Daisy put her stuffed duck on the extra bed in Rosa's room and hung her nightgown in the closet. She stuck her pink and green toothbrush in the glass next to Rosa's blue one. There, said Daisy, now I'm here. Let's have a snack, said Rosa. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. Rosa stood on a chair and peeked through the peek hole. They're here, she said. She opened the door. There stood Daisy's whole family. We looked everywhere for you, said Daisy's father. I already told you, said Daisy. I'm spending the night at Rosa's house. You did, said Daisy's mother. We came to take you home, said Daisy's sister in her big know-it-all voice. I'm not going home, shouted Daisy. I'm spending the night here. But you'll get homesick, said Daisy's sister. No, I won't, said Daisy. Stop shouting, said her brother. I have to shout, said Daisy. Why, her mother asked. Because I tell you things, but nobody ever listens to me. The whole family stared at Daisy. I think it's time for us to go home, said Daisy's father. He gave Daisy a good night hug. Have fun, said Daisy's mother. She gave Daisy a good night kiss. Don't forget to brush your teeth, said her sister in her big know-it-all voice. Can I have her ice cream, her brother asked. Goodbye, good night, sweet, tight, Daisy said, and she shut the door with a bang. Now we can have a snack, said Rosa. Daisy and Rosa ate blueberries and played with their stuffed animals and brushed their teeth and stayed up late. In the morning, when Daisy got home, she told her family all about her sleepover, and for the first time, everybody listened.